Somehow, I feel like this haul is never going to end. I want to give a very special shout out to my new top tier wizard master patron, Wise Stitch. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard Reads, and as always guys, I'm Andrew. Today guys, today I have got part two of my massive book haul, which I thought was going to be two parts, is actually going to be uh, three parts. But before we get to that, make sure you're liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, that said guys, this is an 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 un... just unacceptable amount of books like I'm, I'm flabbergasted with like this is all the physical stuff that I purchased either through unhauls to get store credit at my local used bookstore I had a, uh, a Barnes & Noble like 10 minutes from my house like they they closed down the location so the store went 50% off so I went in and snacked some books there there were some two-for-one sales on Amazon things of that nature you know what happened it was the holidays I lost all self-control so this is all the physical copies of the book haul from December <laughs> and a little bit of January. And uh, yeah, so the next book haul is going to be even more physical copies and then the digital copies, it's going to be all catch up. So uh, let's uh, let's just jump right into this unacceptable book haul. Uh, today, um, like I said, that, that store was going out of business at 50% off and I saw We Are Legion, We Are Bob by Dennis E. Taylor. This is a booktube darling. I've heard it's a lot of fun. I know nothing about it. But, uh, I've, well, I won't say I know nothing about it. Um, something about sentience being shot into space. Uh, I've been hearing about this ever since I discovered BookTube, so I figured for 50% off, I might as well snag it. All right, and then I keep buying Chris Wooding books. This is the fourth and final KDJ book. Uh, I know nothing about KDJ. It's more of a steampunk-type fantasy, but, uh, I loved the Amber Blade so much that I wanted to pick this all up. In the UK version... I know when I did a huge haul, I kept misusing the words U.S. and U.K. These are the U.K. versions because the U.S. versions are hot garbage. They've got the nice matching spine. Love this. Nice and floppy, too. Surprisingly, for a U.K. book, usually U.K.s are more, like, tightly bound. So, yes. Love that. Also, look at that. Look at that artwork. Beautiful. All right. And then I was gifted uh, for Christmas the first two, the first book in the Paternus by Dirk Ashton. And so then I had to go out and get Wrath of the Gods and War of the Gods to complete the trilogy. But one of the things that I love about this is if you zoom in there, my good buddy Petrick has a quote on the book. And I believe it's here on this one as well. Uh, no, it's just on the second book. Oh, no. Yep, there it is. Right up here up top, there's another one from Patrick Leo. That is so cool when you get to see blurbs from booktubers. Uh, and also, these covers are just super cool. And look at that. Look how beefy that is. These are like urban fantasy, but like the gods are coming back, tons of gods and things of that nature. It's got the whole kitchen sink, and Patrick says it's amazing. So I had to get that. This one is from an author that I follow on Twitter, and I always just love her watching her hold her book and smile and take pictures and go in and do signings. That is Among Thieves by MJ Kuhn. I think I've said that right. And also, you know how I love a blue, black, and white cover. Look at that. It's stunning. Love this. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews on it, but at the same time, it's got uh, a blurb on here by J.S. Dews, which I'm super excited to read her work. And uh, frankly, the cover alone is awesome. So, And it's not super long, so even if I don't like it, which I'm fully expecting to love this because... It, it just, it says, gritty, fun, and effort, effortly immersive. That sounds good to me. All right. Um, moving right along. Uh, I have got the second and third book. I was gifted the first, no. Was I gifted the first one? I got the first one a long time ago. And then my buddy Domnish really enjoyed the first book. So I went and bought the second and the third book in the M Reborn Empire trilogy by Devin Madsen. Um, I really love this style of, again, blue, black, and white cover. Yes, please. More of this. But, like, the orange works as well. Like, the white, the black, and the burnt orange. Oh, I love these covers. These, I believe, are more Asian-inspired fantasy. And so I've been really wanting to read a lot more Asian-inspired fantasy lately. And so that's just, that's so cool. Look at those covers. Um, fantastic. All right. And then this one, I this was a cover by... 
I heard I Petrick talk about it a while ago on his channel, and that's the Forever Sea by Joshua Philip uh, Johnson. And from what I understand, like if you can kind of see, this is like a grassland with a ship on top of it, and the way like this world works is they sail the the planes. So that already sounds fantastic. It's got some sort of like um, I think this is like slow burn political. With a little bit of pirate themes, maybe, but I'm super interested in it. And, I mean, the cover alone. Look at that. It is like a painting. I swear, the best art that is being put out there these days are book covers. Get no respect. No respect! Now, I've got the first one on the way. It hasn't gotten here yet. But I was at my half price books after doing an unhaul. And they had Jade War in this beautiful hardcover. And I figured, you know what? Why not? I've been seeing... A lot of love for the um, the Greenbone Saga. And I was like, you know what? Like, I feel like I'm missing out. And FOMO kicked in. So I snagged this. And then, uh, this is book two, by the way. And uh, I went ahead and ordered the, f the first book in hardcover. Because, you know, you know me. I'm a little neurotic. They've all got to be matching. So I decided to do that. And then some more half-price book. Or half-price books? Yeah, half-price books. Uh, scores. Uh, I think in the same haul. Or the, the same unhaul. I decided to pick up Dolores Claiborne uh, by Stephen King, and I've been kind of slowly collecting a almost curated selection of Stephen King. Uh, I reach out to my friends who are constant readers, and I'm like, hey, is this one good? And depending on if they say yay or nay, I'll go ahead and snag it. So I reached out to my buddy Jake, the book is drummer, and I was like, hey, uh, Dolores Claiborne. Uh, plus, this is like an original Viking hardcover in great shape that I threw on a Mylar cover on. I'm like, hey, Jake, is it good? He said, yes. Dolores Claiborne is a really good one, so I went and snagged it. And then this one has just gotten a lot of love, and I, it's been recommended to me by multiple people. And I was lucky enough to find this used. It's in kind of rougher shape, so I threw Mylar cover on it, and uh, that should protect it uh, fairly well. I'm not a huge fan of deckled edges, but uh, I'll live with it. This is Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Uh, Son of Stephen King, and I heard, I've heard i heard that this is like a wintry Christmas horror, and supposedly like Joe Hill's best work. So I definitely wanted to get that on the shelf, and a hardcover is kind of actually rare. So when I found it at Half Price Books for like $13, uh, yeah, I snagged it. Alright, and guys, this is only half. When I told you it was an unacceptable haul, I wasn't kidding. Now, a while ago at Half Price Books, I snagged the first two... And I, I don't know if it's a trilogy, uh, or if it has a name, but it is the Dragon Lords, uh, Bad Faith. Oh, it's the Dragon Lords trilogy by John Hollins. The, and they all say Dragon Lords, and I always forget that they put the series name, like, way big on the cover. Let's get in on that. I've heard this is, like, fantasy meets Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of fun. Um, I definitely wanting to read some more fun fantasy, and so I think this will fit that slot fairly well. And then uh, I've been getting a little bit into Wraith Marked. Uh, and I was gifted the first book in the Shattered Reigns. And so I decided to pick up a Blood of... Yeah, A Blood of Kings with just this awesome, cool, just demonic cover. Uh, this is by Bryce O'Connor, or yeah, Bryce O'Connor and Luke Chimalenko. And they, they pair up fairly often, at least uh, for the book, for everything that I've seen them do. They've, they've done like three or four together. I've got... Two or three of them. Uh, and I want to get the Iron Prince as well. Alright, we're, we're making progress. These two, you've seen on the channel before. Because I hauled these a while ago. And it's just, so many books have been hauled. That, uh, it, this is the official haul, I believe. I decided to get the UK Orbit editions of the Long Price Quartet. That is Shadow and Betrayal, which I've already read. And then Seasons of War, which, uh... The American bind-up of these two is called Price of War, so I don't know why they changed it to Seasons of War. I really like these editions. They're very readable. They're very floppy. My only issue is I cannot get consistent copies of this because even with this edition, you can see that they all match. What? It wasn't that hard. What? Why? Why, why doesn't this line up? What? Why must you hurt me, Orbit? Like you're usually better than this, and so like everything else. Lines up. Line, in line, in line, in line, in line. Not in line. Why? What? What did, didn't you understand about the assignment? Like, I don't know. Very cool covers. Very good books. Highly recommend. 
Um, I'm actually reading the third book in Long Price Quartet this month. Or, I guess this is coming out in February, maybe. Being filmed in January? Who knows? Who knows what's going on anymore? I don't. Alright, and then because I was gifted the first book in The Wounded Kingdom, I decided to pick up the second and third by R.J. Barker. That's Blood of Assassins and King of Assassins. I've heard nothing but good things about this trilogy. I know Patrick really loves this. I think Elliot Brooks also likes it. I could be wrong. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I decided to pick those up as well. Add it to the collection. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm, I'm flying through, guys. Um, this is the... I forget the name of this. Uh, it's only currently a duology. Well, there's only two books out. But I picked up uh, Mark DeJager's second book, Fire Sky. Uh, the first one, I think, was... What was it called? Infernal. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I had to look. Uh, Infernal. So this is the sequel to that one. I decided to add that to the collection. Uh, I just This book haul is basically... People gifted me the first book in a bunch of series. And because I'm neurotic, I had to go and buy the entirety of what there was. Or you know, wrap it up. I also picked up the Exile Fleet. Uh, I just mentioned JS Dues earlier. And uh, yeah, so this is the second book. And I believe the uh, Divide is what this series is called. I don't know a whole lot about this. It's sci-fi, uh, kind of like The Watch from Game of Thrones, or A Song of Ice and Fire, I should say. Um, kind of how like they're sent to the tower. These people are kind of sent to the edge of the galaxy to do things. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of funny, I think. Uh, and yeah, I want to read it. So we've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more books to haul, guys. All right. This one should surprise nobody because I believe this is the Kingsbridge. I picked up finally the third and final book by Ken Follett in the Kingsbridge. I am wanting to read a lot more historical fiction, uh, specifically Kingsbridge, I believe it's called, uh, Troy, and um, the Bernicia Chronicles are the big three that are like, at the top of my list. So let me know in the comments down below if you know any good historical fiction that uh, you think I might like. So I picked up Column of Fire in this nice Penguin edition. All right. Um, I also picked up, again, at the sale today. Let me take out the receipt. We don't need that. Uh, it's not returnable anyway because the store is closed. This is uh, book two of the seven Kennings. I was gifted the first book by my booktube big sister, Leslie, from The Nerdy Narrative. I believe that's A Plague of Giants. This is A Blight of Blackhawks. I figured, hey, I haven't read the first book yet, but this is the ma matching mass market paperback. Might as well snag it while it's 50% off and add it to my collection so that when I do get to it, because I've read Kevin Hearn before, uh, his Iron Druid stuff, and I really enjoyed it. All right, and then I picked up the first two in this uh, trilogy by Peter Newman. Uh, he's the author of The Vagrant, but uh, really what pulls me in is the author of Gemmel Award winner, The Vagrant. And uh, I am currently making my way through Gemmel. I actually just finished the second Drenai book. I'm really enjoying Gemmel. Uh, and I believe also Kings of the Wild won a Gemmel Award. Uh, it was one of the last books to win the Gemmel Award. And so that is Peter Newman's, I believe the first book is The is the Ruthless, and the second book is The Deathless. Let's get in, let's get in on those covers, because they're really, really cool. So I picked up both of these. I'm assuming Peter Newman tends to write darker stories, so I'm assuming that those are going to be grim dark. All right, and then because I'm obsessed, I still haven't. I was supposed to read The Hammer last month. I just wasn't able to fit it in the TBR, so it got pushed. I think 2023 is going to be the year of KJ Parker. Uh, until then, I'm just going to keep collecting KJ Parker books. But I decided to get Volume Two and Volume Three of the Two Swords by KJ Parker. I already had Volume One. Uh, my buddy Nico got that for me when I met him in Chicago. Uh, a couple months ago, and so I wanted to kind of have all that on hand, uh, just in case I love it, and then I can just read the whole thing through. All right, and then these are, uh, I'm planning on doing a high-priority self-pub series for, you know, kind of the ones that I'm really looking looking at, and I kind of want to shine a light on, but I haven't started yet, and that I have high hopes for, and so I decided to pick up Volume 4 and Volume 5 of The Echoes Saga by Philip C. Quintrell. Uh, these have just got some of the best covers in the business. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, it's a nine-book series, and now I've got the first five. I still need to pick up the last four. Uh, I should in the next few months. I really want to start that series, so I'm super excited about it. I've heard nothing but good things. All right, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. 
All right, so this was gifted to me. Now, I remember my last book haul, I accidentally uh, gave credit to somebody as my Secret Santa. And it turns out this was the gift for my Secret Santa. And that is Jacob Pepper's Book One of the Seven Virtues, a Sellsword's Compassion. And I don't know a whole lot about Jacob Pepper's. He is self-pub. But, like, whenever I'm on Kindle, he's one of the highest recommended to me personally that Kendall keeps pushing at me. So I figured I would pick this up or add it to my wish list, and then somebody gifted it to me. And so I'm super excited to get to this because, A, it's really cool cover art. And B, like, it's, you know, shorter fantasy is good fantasy, guys. All right, final three. Ooh, final three are heavy, big ones. All right, so I still haven't read anything by this author. But, again, I just said earlier that I'm looking to get into more Asian-inspired fantasy. So I went ahead and snagged Sean Russell's The Initiate Brother Duology. And you can tell it's Asian-inspired just by getting in on that cover. Uh, it's like a monk levitating, almost like Avatar The Last Airbender kind of vibes from this. Know nothing about it. Uh, I did see that it was very, very highly rated. Uh, very gorgeous spine. And I'm really wanting to get into Sean Russell. So uh, if you've read Sean Russell, come on, let me know in the comments down below where you think I should possibly start. All right, last two. All right, Shadow and Ivory by T. Greylock, and then this is another one by Bryce O'Connor. This is another Wraith Marked. Uh, I know nothing about this. This is Godforged Chronicles. Uh, I think I saw that this is uh, also very highly uh, rated, and frankly, Wraith Marked has been putting out some gorgeous, gorgeous paperbacks, and so I'm just cover buying at this point. So I need to start reading some. Uh, my boss said that Iron Prince was amazing, which is also a Wraith Marked, and so uh, that gives me some hope that uh, they're putting out some really good books. So I figured, why not support them and pick up a few copies? And then the last book that I picked up is the third book in the Dandelion Dynasty. That is The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu. And we're gonna let's show you a, a better, a better, uh, let's show you a better shot of the front cover. And uh, this is hardcover, very beautiful, very thick. I've heard nothing, this is like Silk Punk, again, like, kind of steampunk with like Asian inspired fantasy. I'm super excited to get to it. I have no idea when I'm going to start this. Uh, the first half of my like year is just wrapping up series so that I can then start new series and get even further behind. That said guys, that is the book haul. So let me know in the comment section down below what books you decided to haul. How, um, how do you think I'm doing guys? Do you think I'm going to fill up these new shelves really quickly? Please let me know in the comments down below and till next time guys. Peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons.